Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock and uh, it is time to go and see Nia off from the station. It is also a sandy sandy day today so let's uh, raise up that sand wall. Yeah. So today I need to get copper, I need to get petrified wood and I need to get water. We've got quite a few things we need. I'll send um, Nemo and Macchiato is having a nap, so I guess we're not sending Macchiato anywhere just now. And it's a Fang day. Okay, why don't we go see Fang first? Because Fang... Oh, no horse today. Did I, did I ever get enough stuff for the stable? Things got a bit crazy for a while, didn't they? I feel like I feel like it's coming down a bit to allow me time to do things. So now is probably the time to take advantage of that, right? Ten hardwood planks. Uh, sticks. Sorry. Can I make ten hardwood sticks? Yes. Well, I'll let that get on then, shall I? We also need to make uh, petrified wooden boards. I've got enough to make two out of the three. I do need to make some more. And um, we need to go to the train station before Nia runs away. Quick. Train's just pulled in. Eh. Yeah. Hi. So you came to see me off? <sighs> three days went by way too quickly. They did, didn't they? But I need to go back and take care of my plants. You remember my neighbor raised a pig, right? When that pig gets hungry, it gets really hungry. So you can see why I'm worried. Hey, don't laugh. If that pig eats my graduate project, I'm not going to be able to graduate for another semester. You packed the sand jujube cake? Yeah, it's all packed. Don't worry. I went to where they sell it, the Wandering Y. Weird name for a ranch. <laughs> the yak boy and his wife were really friendly. He sat me down and told me about his family history for what felt like eternity. Their cake is famous, though. Remember to write. You're sweet. Don't panic, dear. All right. Went to the train. There's no rush. We still have a little time. Let's chat for a bit. Train the high wind. Now departing. Train the high wind. Now departing. Please gather your belongings and board the train. Ah, uh, that's me. I'll see you soon. Mm. Hey, when I'm graduated, I'll come see you again, okay? So don't miss me too much. Okay. I won't miss you too much. Maybe a little bit though. Bye, Nia. Goodbye, my builder. Bye, my builder. That's that would be such a cute romance. Um, if I wasn't going to romance somebody else just now. Somebody that I think you're looking for. Okay, so we now need to just. Uh, we've had our visit. Bye bye, Nia. Um, right, I think they're both really interesting jobs. I guess we're so similar, we kind of got drawn to the same jobs anyway. Some Nia relationship. How does Nia never seem to go up a level with the relationship? Pet harvest results. We got a lot of stuff from the pets actually, it was fantastic. But I am starting to like... Rebuild some of the stuff that I went through uh, building the water towers. That took a bit of time to be fair. Okay, uh, some more copper scrap over here, I think. And then we'll just see. Macchiato, you want to go do some digging for me? Or do you want to explore? I wonder what exploring does. Might be, might be something different. Um, Coco's outside, which would be cool. Yeah, that's my. That's as much farming as I'm doing for now. Uh, 
so we are working on the stables. However, I do think I need to rent a horse for now. Actually, no. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just take a ride up to the desert. I'm going to cut down one tree for now. Because I really want to buy a horse and I'm so close to getting the stable done. Once I've got the stable done, I'll work on the barn as well. So very, very close. So let's just run. Chop down the one tree I need. I need nine petrified wood. I should get at least ten from this tree. Provided it's grown back. Yeah, it has. Cool. The trees and things do seem to grow back at a reasonable rate. Like every one or two days they seem to be coming back. Whereas it used to be several days and it was a bit of a pain. Have five out of nine. I'm hoping the stump will give me another five. Got to take some chopping, don't they? And I'm not going to fight that stupid kangaroo in a sandstorm. I want to do that in daylight. I won't be able to. See. He'll be halfway across the map, and I won't be able to see him. Okay, and then I need to get copper. Mabel has a quest for me. Oh, isn't that interesting? I don't think I've ever been good enough buddies with Mabel before to have that be a thing, but there we go. So, little... Do you like mountain roses? I'm going to try mountain roses maybe with Sandy Camel, actually. Or maybe sand tea. That might be something a sandy camel likes. Have I tried giving Sandy water? I don't know if I have. Does camels store water? Right? Hmm. Also, where are all the seeds? Put your seeds away. I'm so sorry, dude. Um, yeah, I'll try a mountain rosa. That was okay, apparently. Alright, I'm off to see Mabel, and then I'm off to the mines. Sandstorm day is a great day for mining. Hi there! How's life treating you? Not too close up in work, I hope. Running around working yourself to the bone just ain't safe. Speaking of which, I had an idea. I want to bring a bit more joy to our little town during this time. Everyone's working so hard. I just want to see a few more smiles on their faces. Hmm. You got a cooking station, right? Well, either way, I reckon you can help me cook up a little dish or two. Folks around here appreciate a nice home-cooked meal. So, dearie, you mind helping out? Of course. That's just grand. Uh -huh. but here's the deal. I'm thinking bring a smile campaign with free Yakmel milk chip cookies and snacks. I've got some extra ingredients. I'm thinking of baking a whole load of cookies and then give them to the fine, to Sorry, the fine folks in this town. You can give me a helping hand and make some additional snacks. Then we'd be good to go. And to help you out, take these ingredients. If you use these together at your cooking station, you're sure to come out with something nice. Oh, and ask Owen for a recipe too. He loves to share his new ideas. Now to finish it all off, I reckon we'll be needing a dessert stall. I hear you can build one off the, on the work table. Think you can do me another favour there as well? Just place it near my ranch after you're done building it. Hmm. Thank you for the help, neighbour. Much appreciated. I think I might have done this before. Sand rice cake with yakmel milk and sand rice. So we need to go and ask Owen for a recipe too, apparently. So I might head into the blue moon and see. Which is where Owen should be at this time of day. Yes. Howdy. Hey there, helping out Mabel. She gave me a heads up you'd be heading my way to help with her bring a smile campaign. That's what she's calling it. She seems really excited. I'm glad you're on board as well. So here's what I've got for you, something easy to get you started. You can make sand rice cakes by using sand rice and a little sugar. Uh -huh. I'm looking forward to the campaign. Don't tell her I said this, but Mabel just might be the best chef in town. I don't want to fill her head up too much. Haha, <laughs> our friendly competition keeps us both striving to be better. I actually learned meat stuffed mushroom from him. How weird. Okay, so I'm thinking that it might be good 
to build myself a cooking station then. And I need to run around harvesting. Ugh, I need to get that ore refiner going. Like, I need to keep it going. I'm terrible at remembering. Oh, there's some bloodstones on there already. Nice. So that's two of five. Uh, three each. So three times three. I need nine more. And then I just need a bit of bronze. And for that I need some copper. And I can't make that. Okay, that's fine. And what have we got on here today? Petrified wooden sticks. I can't not take that because it's just such a good... I'm at it's such a good commission. Okay. Can't do that yet. So we need to go and make those bloodstone swords so I can get that other commission. So bloodstone swords, water, and copper. A pick hammer might do better at that. Oh yeah, they get all angsty on uh, sandstorm days. I think it's because they can't see you. They can't see who you are. Whereas on a normal day, they're like, oh, it's that girl that runs around all the time. I might not be able to find nine, but we'll see. Alpha Yakmel there, lovely. That's three at least. Four. Oh, that's five at least, yep. Yeah. Got a bonus there. So what? Oh, look at you hiding. Okay, that should be enough for it. And that'll just clear me up to take the Petrified Stick quest for Heidi. Which will be quite useful, I feel. Can't even see my house like this. But I do find it interesting, the uh, order that things come in now. Very interesting. Alright, so now I can make all of the bloodstone swords I need. Um, so I think the next thing to do would be to go over to Burgess's quickly and grab some water. Oh, do you know what? Can I make the stable? That would be really wonderful if I could. No, not for another five minutes. Okay, well, we'll go get the water then. I can run that far. I mean, you know, after all the disparaging comments I made about me and not having a horse, maybe I maybe I deserve this. <laughs> right. Mm, water. Lots and lots of water. So I'll pop that into the tank to fill it up and anything that's left over I'll throw on my plants. Macchiato is off exploring. Bringing me back cool stuff. Nemo's come back with some cool stuff too. Right, so I can now water that one mushroom. Because that's been like bugging me. And then fill up the water tank with the rest of it. Yeah, I think I even have some left over. Wonderful. Uh, four more hardwood sticks to go. We've got some stuff at the ore refinery. Right, I think then, uh, provided my inventory isn't chockers, which I do need to check. It is a little bit. 
go see how much of it I can like throw into chests in a swift manner. Actually, quite a lot, so that's fine. Uh, also, one thing I need to go to cheese as well because we haven't got research going at the moment. Although, how much, how many data discs do I have before I do that? Because it might be better for me to go to the mines first. I only have ten. Yeah, mines first. I don't have enough. And by the time I come out of the mines, I will have enough, so that just makes total sense. And I'll probably do an industrial uh, processor next. Uh, sorry, uh, recycler. That would be good. So I'm going to just get copper and tin. Um, and I'm going to have a... I'll start on golden candlestick level, whatever that one is. Level 9. So I'll give it a quick reset and I'll go in. And we'll see if we can see it. So it was Golden Candlestick Part 2, I believe. Gonna check though. Because it'd be terrible if I got the wrong one. Yeah, Part 2. So, let's see. Old parts. Golden Candlestick Part 2. Wow, was that some luck. Right then, I'll just grab a little bit of copper and stuff and we'll head straight down to level 11 uh, to the last piece we need, which is part of the Sand Eagle. I believe it's part two. I could be very wrong about that. I think I've got a few things to put together at the museum, actually. So I'll probably go down down there a little bit later. Ugh, have we not gone to see Fang again? I'm a bit of a nightmare at that, aren't I? I've been historically very good at it, which is why we've had so much interaction with Fang so far. And I will be good again. I've just I've had a lot on my mind lately. <laughs> it's been hard. <laughs> All right, let's have a... Let's have a little jump straight down to level 11, where we are going to find Sand Eagle parts. And I think we need part two, but like I say, could be wrong. I'm gonna very quickly check that one before we go. Mm, that's a monument, sorry. Sand eagle. Sand eagle, sand eagle, sand eagle. Oh, it looks like part four is missing. Part four. Okay, sand eagle part four. Sand eagle part five. Engine. Once I find Sand Eagle Part 4, I will be finished with all of the relics in this place. How good is that? That was really quick, huh? And we already have Meowsis, and we already have, um, I think, the ship wheel and the horn. So I think we're all the way down to something like level 5 already in the gecko ruins as well. So after that I can start giving any relics that I find in those particular ruins. I can put them together if I get whole ones and give them to people as gifts. Or sell them. Depending how I'm feeling at the time. Let's have a little look around. No. No luck on this sand eagle. I'll find it eventually, but it might take a bit. Might not be today. I'm just happy that we found the one thing that I needed, which was the... Let's go down, 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 down. Oil, old parts. Uh, yeah, the one thing that I did need, which was the um, candlestick part, let me out. I 
doesn't look like I'm having a ton of luck down here though. Metal coils. No, okay, so let's reset level 11. I think I'm at the bottom here. Okay, I need to change levels and go back to like level 10 or something and then back to level 11 so that I can reset to something different. Because that level 11 was exactly the same. It gets confusing after a while. Oh, let's have a look in the vending machine. Jewel egg and DNA model piece. As well as some nice medicine. Those are the ones we already have, so I don't think I need them at the moment. Right, what we got down here then? Sand Eagle 2. Old parts. Old parts. I'll head for the exit and see if we can find anything else. So, so far we found five and two. But not a lot else. I just want to make sure that none of my quests at the moment are timed. Got commissions, 19 hours on the saw blades, 19 hours on those, eight days on those, and one day on the hinges. The rest is untimed. Golden belt. That's what I will get for beating. Oh yeah, I ran out of stamina now. Okay, that was enough looking through there then I guess. For one day. I'll go find Hugo. Then I'll start uh, cooking up the bronze and we'll be able to then do cheese quest uh, by the morning. I'd hate to fail it just for running out of time. I fail, I fail these commissions for enough reasons. I need to have a look into making a, an apprentice cooking station. And I'm hoping I should now have enough, um, although I probably won't make it in time this today, but maybe I'll make it by tomorrow. I don't know. Let's, let's see. Bronze bars. Make a load of them. And I need to head up to cheese. I may or may not make in time. I would have made it in time with a horse. But we're still waiting on the stuff for a horse. Well, I probably have it now, actually. So I'm hoping I can just get here in time. And start my next piece of research. If I do that, I don't think I'm finding Hugo today. Hey, so I can make a super dew collector. I could get... Uh, I'll got 20 exactly industrial grinder and industrial recycler and so i think the industrial machine tools grinder and recycler are the most important followed by the dew collector um advanced work oh yeah the and the advanced workshop and the, then followed by some secondary the cooking station the jewelry machine the forging machine etc etc so I, I would say probably the industrial recycler next. That's going to take another six days. Could speed it up. I'm probably not going to at the moment because I don't think I need it just now at the stage of the game I'm at. And then I'll just see if I can find Hugo. Okay, let's see. I'll just see if I can get into Vivi's. I think Vivi's shuts at 10. But on the off chance I can get in there until 11, I will give it a try. Apparently Jasmine just like... Runs around at 10 o'clock at night. That's the way, Jasmine. So those need to be done first thing in the morning. Good stuff in my box there. Alright. Uh, let's go and see if the sticks are done and make me a stable. Please do not tell me that I've used that up. Hmm. Cable stayed bridge. I thought I donated that. Clearly I didn't. Yay. 
Yes, I have all the stuff I need. And it kind of fits at the back there. Nice! Sorry, doodles. Stable comes first, you come second. I won't be able to get a horse today, but I'll be able to get one in the morning. Um, and I probably will play around with the layout of the yard, because it's that starting to look a little bit cramped as well with everything, so... We'll have a little play around with that. I also need to play around with the house. Gonna need like an episode of just general tidying up, I think. So, time for bed. And then tomorrow we will buy a horse. Get a really nice one. And it's a mysterious man thing. And my commissions are about to expire. So let's hand the commissions in. Sort Hi! Oh. Mayor Trudy asked me to come get you. She has something she wants to talk to us about over at the moisture farm. Of course she does. Something related to what she found in the desert. Nobody seemed interested in Mayor Trudy's expedition at the fireside. But for some reason, what she said really stuck with me. Last night I had a dream that we turned a sand dune into a forest full of trees. Uh, that was kind of a weird tangent. Sorry. Anyway, let's head to the moisture farm. Okay. Well, I guess oh, that's where we're good. going. Both builders are here. Hi. We were just discussing a particular sample. Let me just make it them caught up for a moment. We were just discussing a particular sample. Let me just make it um, them caught up sure, for a moment. Well, Zeke and I have been trying different soil types out in the Ufala to see if we can get plants to grow in that environment. To no avail so far, I might add. As I was coming home from this last expedition, I stopped at an old world wreckage to rest my feet. I'd never seen this wreckage before. It must have been uncovered by the last sandstorm. Weird thing was, the place had some type of algae everywhere. I couldn't go deeper since there was a damaged door that wouldn't budge. But I did manage to gather some algae samples. The point is, Zeke wants to know why the algae can survive in such a tough environment. So we need to go back there to figure it out. For that, I'll need your help, builders. We need to be able to open the broken hydraulic door to get inside. What are you looking for in there? Ah, uh -huh. yes, Zeke. Care to elaborate? Um, okay, yeah. This algae sample Trudy brought back has some very strange nutrients in them. I want to see the source. I've read before from an old world book of my paws that there were biochemicals used to rejuvenate soil, but I've never figured them out. Maybe this is the key to the soil problem we've been trying to solve for the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. Um, do you want to go explore these ruins with us? Okay. Cool. Count me in two. My, what an adventurous pair of builders you two are. How lucky we are to have you. Though, I do have one small request. What would that be? Can we all keep this under wraps for the time being? Which is to say, not make this civil core business? If this, like, let's say, some of my other endeavors, doesn't go quite as planned, I... I just can't handle another event like that fireside. Hey, even if this doesn't work, you're just trying your best. I know. It's just... No problem, Mayor. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you all. Your support... <sighs> means a lot to me. Now, to get through the door, Heidi figured we'll need a level 3 pick hammer. And since we're not sure what's inside the ruin exactly, I'd like to order a few protective suits as well. So a level 3 pick hammer, I'm thinking, is probably the iron one. Uh, and it's, level 3 might mean it has to be rare, but I'm not sure. We'll have to see. If possible, I'd like to go as soon as we can. So I went ahead and got the protective suit diagram for you. I assume you can make the level 3 pick hammer at your work table? Of course, no problem. Well, there's four of us. We're going to need four protective suits. I think you two can make two each. Make it a bit easier for yourselves. No problem here either. Sounds good to me. Thank you, builders. Lovely. So we are going to make some suits. 
So I need to uh, buy a horse. So I'll take the Yakmal cart back to my house. Um, and then head straight over to Hugo and put some bronze pipes on. I might be able to make it just in time. Oof. And I need to find the mysterious man as well, but that's not such a priority right now. Owen has something to say as well, but that's just not going to happen right now. Okay. So I'm going to need on the grinder uh, four bronze pipes. I'm going to have each one of these making two. Grab the bronze bars quickly. Uh, I'm going to give that a dust as well. And then I'm going to quickly go find Hugo while they're building. Um, reason being, if I find Hugo first, then if somehow I don't manage in time... Hmm. Inside the Commerce Guild? Really? I guess so then. No, no. I was going to say, I was sure it was tailor made. Yeah, it is. Sometimes they can really look like each other. Alright, Hugo, 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 where are you? Hugo, Hugo, that's Jasmine's room, I think. Up in your room. Luckily, I think I can go in there. Right, there's your commission. Thank you. Hmm. You just gotta admire Trudy and her tenacity. It takes guts to go out into the desert by yourself. But that's just what she does, time and time again. A lot of folk would send out their subordinates, but Trudy leads by example. Hmm. Mighty fine shell of steel you builders came up with for that water tower. Say, all that metal? Was that my stuff you were using? I genuinely can't recall. I don't think it was. I was tempted to at one point. Okay. So then I'm going to go and buy a horse for my stables, I think. So this time I will buy. I can buy a camel as well if I want to. But I actually do prefer the way the horses run to the Yakmo or the camel. So I can buy one of these horses. Ugh. No, I'm going to come back every day. Highest refinable quality. Perfect. Can I refine a horse? I'm gonna buy that horse. I can always buy another. I can always sell it. But I can refine you. Let's have a look. Interact. Return, stay, photo shoot, interact, check, interact. Observe. No. Stay, return, exit, check. Raise. If you raise the quality of the mounted attributes will improve. Change the color scheme, upgrade its attributes. Wow, these are all things I can buy at Fangs. So if I buy, I can buy like an upgrade. Alright, so I'm going to need to feed you something as well, aren't I? Um, 
I think horses generally quite like sand berries, if I remember rightly, so we'll go with that for now. Okay, bronze pipes are... Very close to being done. Three minutes away. I can make a couple of petrified wooden boards, but I think I need to make more. No, actually I can make enough, okay. Let's see how many lenses I can make. Three so far. I need one more bronze pipe and I'm done on that commission. How long have I got left? Six hours. No, that's not too bad. Eight days left on that one for Owen, and then one day left to make metal hinges for, uh... Okay. Metal hinges. Are they a grinder thing? Yes. I'll just make those then. Leave those till tomorrow. Um, I can make... Iron pickaxe, so I already own one. I need one for the mission. Yeah. One more glass lens, so I can hand that into Chi. And then I could see about, like, raising the mount, inc inc increasing the. Ooh, mysterious man! Hello! Spicy bean paste, you say? Hmm. Interesting. I've waited like nearly a month to, to ask you about this. My dear builder friend, you want it for cooking? Let me guess. Mapo tofu? <laughs> well, I love it too. In order to learn to make it, I had to study the art of using the spicy bean paste. But alas, I didn't come from that direction. I went through the Ethian border with Duvos. I wish I had come directly from Barnarok, but ah, it's a pity. I wish I had brought some extra, but I have none. You came from Duvos, did you? Interesting. Right now, I have but some of the ingredients necessary. Broad bean seeds and spicy peppers. So, are you interested in buying the seeds and peppers? The other ingredients you need are common enough. If you're going to buy these, I'll teach you how to make it free of charge. How fortunate of us to have cross paths. It just so happens that you're my first customer of the day. Tell me, how's your brother doing? I don't have a brother? Perfect. That reminds me. I'm looking for someone to cooperate with on a little side gig of mine. If you're the right person for the job, there could be a lot of profit to be made. Sure, let's hear it. Hear you know of cooking, right? Basically, it's building with food. Hence my interest in working with you. No, no. No need to find a professional chef. That'll be too pricey. Anyway, I was traveling through Seaside, and I picked up a few of their signature peppers. They range from the super spicy, to the hyper numbing, to the ultra pungent all uniquely delicious, borderline nutritious, and go well at just about any dish. And by any dish, in this case, I mean noodles. As something of a noodle connoisseur myself, I have a keen nose for what makes them oh, pop. My thoughts are that these peppers may very well hold the key to reaching noodle nirvana. Noodle nirvana. But why stop at just filling our stomachs when we could fill our wallets as well? <laughs> I'm sure that once someone creates the dish I have in mind, people will be lining up for decades just to get one whiff of them. Me? Oh, I don't cook. I don't cook. <laughs> Which brings me to my point. You have a cooking station. That I makes you actually. as qualified as anyone. Once you get the dish right, I'll sell the recipe all around the free cities. We'll do it real fair, real amicable-like, nice and square. I don't know if it's 50 50. Well, well, someone's acting shrewd. I tell you what, I'm in a good mood today, and I like your backbone. 50 50 it is. I'll concede a bit and give you my peppers, but don't think my first offer wasn't fair now. 
Good. It's a deal, then. Now, my only hope is that you might succeed where others have failed. For this dish, let me be as precise as possible. You'll first need a bone broth as the base, and the noodles should be handmade with flour. Before boiling them, you'll need to add some leafy vegetables, as well as some seasoned fresh meat. Then, it's time to add my seaside peppers. I've blended 18 peppers and spices together to make my own secret seasoning. My senses are tingling just thinking about it. Builder, if you pull this off, we'll become a part of culinary history. In any case, you'd best figure this out in the next three days. You know how I roll, right? Can't stay in any place for more than three days. Usually it's two. I'm doing you a favor here. Plus, yeah. there are others out there who can build things with food, you know. Come find me when you've created the dish. Okay. Um, so what I need now is... My Chat paw was a rolling stone. It's been my life's goal to outroll him. And then I need to look at your store. And see um, about... I may buy, like, all the relic bags today. But, um, broad bean seeds. We need to buy those. Um, I need to buy... I don't know how many of everything I need, but, um, I'll have a look in a second. I want to buy these, uh, chests. Or, I want to get the chest recipe. Right hand chair, right hand tea table, vintage pistol, large storage box recipe. Okay, good. So I can now make them rather than buy them. They are quite expensive. Place the box on top of a smaller one to replace it. Hmm. That's cool. Um, then I just want to look at the things I need. So, Jewel with Joy noodles. Meat, bone, soup, and green vegetables. Fragrant memories. Broad beans, add some salt and chilli. Do I need like... Okay. I can definitely get salt at the blue moon. I'm gonna buy all the seaside peppers. I'm gonna buy all the chili. All the cilantro. And all the garlic. I don't know when I'll be able to get them again, so like, I don't know whether I'm being ripped off for that. And I'm also gonna buy, I know this is expensive, all of the relic bags. Right hand chair I don't need, tea table I don't need, vintage pistol. I'm going to buy that. I don't know whether I was able to make that before, but that's a useful recipe I think. A goodbye meatball to, for a pet, change the name of a pet, there's a few different scarves and things. Uh, there's an engagement ring if I want it, but that's going to come much later. He'll have showed up a few more times before then. A jewellery showcase. Which is a medium exhibit. Okay, I think that's everything. You've ripped ripped me off something crazy there, Mr. Mysterious Man. But I think I have everything I need. For all of the uh, particular things about having to wait for you to come around again. But I think I might have to take that back to him in three days, whereas I think the Fragrant Memories one isn't so bad. Um, I don't know how how much I have to grow the broad beans. Um, I don't know what goes on with that. Let's have a look. Rose Willow. Board 
I'll stick them in there. Some good soil. And I may actually fertilize them as well. And then I'll put something like rose willow seeds in, in the other spaces. I think I might be one short though. I have another coffee tea as well, don't I? That I need to put in somewhere. I don't have enough room for the Duke cantaloupe at the moment, but that's that's okay. Sweet potato pepper to the rescue. This will be the first time in ages that I've had a full farm. Like I say, it's just been so, so utterly crazy lately. I haven't had a minute to do, like, farming. Like, just that day where I had Nia and the fireside meeting and stuff at the moisture farm and stuff at Mort's and it was all just, like, time dependent. Oh, did I, did I take the lenses back? No, I didn't. Oops. Run, 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 run. I don't know how long I've got left for it. The uh, mysterious man really did distract me for a long time with stuff and the things I had to really think about as well. Like, Okay, so I'll hand these in and then I'll make the uh, cooking station. Trudy's expedition into the desert has once again proven to be unfruitful. It's unsurprising. Hope is not a viable substitute for data. So mean. Thank you. Okay, now I don't have to worry about those. Mm. To destroy the new water tower, Logan would need a bomb with a yield of roughly four megatons. Something I'm relatively sure doesn't exist anymore. Don't believe me? Feel free to invent a four megaton bomb. Okay, I probably could. Mm. It is of the utmost necessity I acquire a tea leaf for research purposes, yes. Bring it to me. Don't have it at the moment. So yeah, you need a tea leaf, do you? I could probably bring that over. Shame I can't gift straight out of my boxes. Right, so the next thing I desperately need to do to make these drooly joy noodles or whatever they are. Yes. Oh, and I can bring my sand wall down now as well. And there's things in my mail I haven't even read yet. And I probably should, quickly. So from Zeke, got some new seeds I want to give you. Stop by the moisture farm when you're in the neighbourhood. And Ryan, send me another stool. Okay, fine. I need to head up there then. That isn't even sandy. That's weird, isn't it? Right, over to the assembly table then, and I need to make an apprentice cooking station. It would be ideal if I had the better one, but it's probably fine. Bronze bars, I have. Copper pot, I do not have. Marble slab, I do not have. Rubber shell, I do have. So three marble slabs and a pot. Is it made up here? Copper pot. There we are. Spicy bean paste. I need a broad bean. And once I have that, I've got plenty of chilies. Oh, I bought them off him. I didn't even need to. I had them. I was panicking though. I knew the only thing I knew was that salt was possible. I don't even really care too much if I have to do a few commissions. I think it cost me a few thousand in the end to get all of that stuff. And to be honest, that's like a day's worth of commissions usually gets me about five grand, so... It's fine, is what I'm saying. Copper pot. And then just three marble slabs. 
Can I process any of them yet? No. Rubber shell. What do I need it for? Hardwood sticks. I need them for the desert stall and the iron pick hammer. Well, I already have an iron pick hammer. And I don't have enough petrified wood to make the uh, wooden board either. I need to go out to the desert and quickly do that, I think, at some point. And that is fine. Rubber scrap. I've got some iron scrap there as well. Got some mechanical scrap and some wood, fine wood scrap maybe. And some wood scrap and some stone scrap. And then I think that's all of my scrap being recycled at that point. So one piece of copper scrap that's just like left over. Right. Right. So I want to head over to Fang's place and sort my horse out as well and see if I can refine the horse up a bit. That looks really cool actually. This horse's name is Horse at the moment. I think uh, I will get probably get a white horse at some point and call it Lightning. I think this horse could be Chestnut though. Yeah, can I name you? Uh, or maybe at the st at the stable. No. Okay. Uh, raising your mount. Here we are. Different types of mounts have different attributes. The quality of the mount will affect the attributes. Once you have a stable, you can buy your own mount in the mount store. The stamina limit of a mount depends on stamina level. Will decrease during the day. Loyalty will increase during daily use, but will decrease under certain circumstances. I'll get an in increase in attributes and an additional effect. Take good care of the mount. The bonuses will expire if the loyalty is reduced. When buying a mount from the mount store, perfect quality mounts are the highest stocked. You can improve quality of any mount through training. All foods have different effects. Don't feed them too much, though. Hmm. Training. Well, I'll have to play around with that. That It's actually quite nice. Oh, there we are. Chestnut. Okay, so. I can play around with all of that stuff soon. Looks like, oh, it looks like I've got the petrified wooden boards I need. I must have already had some. Nice. Chestnut may well get sold, I'm not sure. But it's nice to have a mount where the loyalty is continually stacking rather than losing that loyalty all the time. Sandrock commission for Thank you. Thank you. Looks like you've got part-time work to do as well. I'll have a <laughs> chat first. Something about Sandrock breeds a real hard-headed folk. Any idea how many times Trudy's been out into the desert looking for who knows what? Me neither. I've lost count. Uh-huh. All right, yep. then. What do you want this time? Sandakudas again. Uh -huh. And I want to ask about Hello. recipes. Beef tomato brisket. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm just waiting for a bit of marble at the moment to make that. Uh, I made the forging machine, but I haven't yet made the jewelry machine. So that might be one to make. I don't know how much I'll use it, but it might be good to have it. Oh, the marble bricks are nowhere near being done. Okay, let's go to the sand Akuda pit then. I think I still have sand rice in my inventory from earlier. I'm being asked to do this quite a lot at the moment, so... That's fine, honestly. And I should be able to take another commission now as well. I'm 
giant massive sound of Buddha on the way. I was hoping I could catch two, but maybe the large ones you can only catch one at a time. It wouldn't surprise me. Come on, little Sandakuda. Normally I seem to catch one large and two small. It just seems to be the way. Okay. Was easy enough to do. But, like, I don't really know how to get some of the other bait. Well, I can make, I can get a chestnut tree. So maybe if I start growing chestnuts, I could use them as bait and get some different kind of fish. I can also get a sandfish uh, thing in my, in my yard. So if my yard ever gets big enough for that, I might do that, but at the moment, no. Uh, more petrified wooden sticks. I mean, I can't turn those down. They're amazing commissions. Tea leaves for Vivi or for Pablo. Pablo will pay me well for 14 of them. I don't know if I have 14, so I will need to check. Which, again, is the nice thing about the commission board for me. Yeah, I do have enough. Okay, well, we'll take that one then, if I'm allowed to. Might not be. Yes, I was. Uh, tomatoes for a mirror. I'm sure I have tomatoes somewhere. Plastic pipes? Okay, no. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Let me go and find a mirror and Owen for the Santa Cuda. Hopefully by tomorrow morning, my cooking station will be ready. I should have made it before, but I was doing lots of stuff, okay? I was getting ready for his story time. I love Owen's story time. Uh -huh. Nice. So this time he knew I had them, rather than me having to hand them in. That's interesting. Okay, there's someone coming down the road. Oh, yeah, it's Pablo. Here's your tea. Oh, when's your birthday? Don't expect any haircuts on the 22nd of spring. That's my birthday. Cut your own hair if you want it so bad. Hmm? So Trudy's back. What the heck was she doing out in the Ufala anyway? So many better places to be. Though I do have to admit her hairdo is amazingly intact. Because it's basically shoved up into a piece of metal. Hmm? Hmm? You built a water tower? Why'd you go and do something like that? I thought we already had one. He did? No? Well, what am I supposed to keep track of every little thing that goes on this town? The new line of Frito came out this week. <laughs> okay, here's your tea. Impressive. Thanks. Very well. And then a mirror. I have tomatoes for you. This is great. Mm. Trudy has a good heart. She shies away from the spotlight, but I see that as a good thing. Those who do not seek power are often the best suited to wield it. Sometimes, sometimes not. I don't know. Thank you. Didn't have time to replace everything he ate. Who ate your tomatoes, Amira? Let me know, I'll beat them up. Okay, so <laughs> we've still got metal hinges that are on their way for um, Jensen for 19 hours. We've got nine days left on the, the sticks. Um, there's no particular time limit seemingly on anything else. With the exception of, obviously, the mysterious man. So, gonna need to tend meat. I'm thinking maybe the rib meat that I've been getting from the, the moles in the, in the um, ruins might be good for that. We'll see. I don't exactly remember what to do, but I'll try my best. I can't remember how to to work these things either at the moment. All right, so we've got some marble bricks. We can start making marble slabs. But this is going to be a slow process. So that's two. And uh, I need three, I think. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna need another two marble bricks or three. I need another two marble bricks and then we can get that finished off. And we can start doing the sand rice stuff and all that. I can't do any of that at the moment, so I'm going to un undo it. Untrack it. Spicy bean paste, I need to wait for the beans. And I'm guessing then, I'm hoping then I can just give it back to Arbio rather than have to interact with the uh, mysterious man again. And then I need to prepare two protective suits. Are they a tailoring thing? Yes. And what do I need canvas for? I need a recipe for that apparently. So I'm going to need, um, oh yeah. Tempered glass, I'm gonna need four of. But I've got everything else I need, so let's make Poor tempered glass. Uh, oh, that's a civil furnace thing. Okay. That's on its way. And let's go get that canvas recipe. Oh, I still don't have cocoa seeds in my inventory. Ah, I need to do an inventory sort again so bad. It'd be nice when all the pets are my friends and then I can just like work on... Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. I want it over here. Then I can just work on doing other things. Oh yes, the chromium bars are here now. I need those for Mian. Iron latch, a chromium axe and a chromium pick hammer. Oh. Oh, I bet the level three is chromium. I bet you it is. All right then. So that's why chromium opened up all of a sudden. Because I, re I bet you what to do. Well, actually, no, I'm sure it was an iron one, they said. So I don't know. I'll probably need a chromium one soon, but probably not right now. I only just upgraded to iron, so it can wait a minute. We can get that that final marble slab underway. Water my pomato seeds. Doing really well with that level three fertile soil though. I think that's gonna take a while to level up. I have a feeling about that got quite a lot of it at that level but it's like mm, it's gonna take a bit so I'm hoping the marble slabs will be ready in the morning all the, the other two of them I'm hoping the metal hinges will be ready soon because we don't have long left on that one cutting that one really fine 17 hours that's still kind of okay 12 hours to take us to 9 in the morning, so as long as we hand it in in the morning, we'll be alright. But that is quite, quite cutting it fine. Quite a tight uh, schedule there, that one. And like I say, it's because all of a sudden I was able to do loads of commissions at once. Also while... Also while trying to do the towers. The towers took so many resources off me. It was quite bad. So we still got a tea leaf one. I definitely think um, I could plant in that other tea and coffee tree, but I'd need a little bit of straw from a little bit of straw from Burgess to do it. So we'll definitely try and work on that. I've got a point in something. Social this time. Okay. Um, orders submitted the same day. We'll get ten percent more experience. Shopping knowledge, mini game knowledge, party knowledge, hangout knowledge, poundsfolk knowledge. So you get some favour when taking a group photo. 
I'm gonna get the additional favor for chatting. I think that might be that might make a difference. And then I think it might be my bedtime. Honestly, I don't. Let me just check through and see if there's anything else I can do that won't take forever. But I think really, I need to go and find telescope things. Fight, um, Mister again. Let's get my cooking station up and running. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Find out how to make canvas on the tailoring machine. The canvas. I can make it. Nice. So those suits are, like, basically on their way now. That's fantastic. Okay, so we've got as far as those. That's also a thing. And then the petrified wooden stick, I need to go out to the desert and get that. So... We'll get the metal hinge tomorrow. I'll take a few more commissions and then we'll head out to the desert and get some petrified sticks. Um, once, probably once I've done all the stuff with the cooking. This um, Iron Chef one, I'm going to actually track it so that when I come back to the game, because this is the end of uh, my batch for now. So when I come back at the end of the game, sorry, when I come back tomorrow for the next episode, I won't forget that that's something I really, really need to do, like, right now, this second. So, that's the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.